Good morning and welcome to the Wax Wake Up for Wednesday, October 18th. I'm Christy Matino. President Joe Biden arrived in Tel Aviv Wednesday morning as tensions between Israel and Hamas have reached perhaps their highest point since the war began. Biden met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to discuss the United States' solidarity with the country. The president shared this message. The world's looking. We, uh, Israel has a value set like the United States does in other democracies. And, uh, and they're looking to see what we're going to do. Biden also said he will assist in trying to prevent conflict from spreading. And that's a mission made more difficult by Tuesday's strike on a Gaza hospital that killed at least 500 people, where both Israel and Hamas blamed one another. In addition to meeting with Netanyahu and Israel's defense leaders, Biden will speak with Israeli President Isaac Herzog, first responders and family members of the victims of Hamas's attack earlier this month. And the House still doesn't have a speaker. After Congressman Jim Jordan lost 20 Republican votes on Tuesday in his first round of balloting for the speakership, now both Democrats and Republicans are sharing their thoughts, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who had some harsh words for Jordan and those who voted to give him the gavel. They're going to have to answer to their conscience, uh, to their children, to their own legacy for doing something so disreputable. Jordan failed to secure the requisite votes to become speaker because the 20 Republican holdouts, combined with all House Democrats in opposition, is too many for the slim majority the House GOP has. But Pelosi has no remorse for Jordan. Mr. Jordan and his friends do a real disservice to their members on the Republican side to call upon them once, maybe more, we'll see tomorrow, to vote for such a person for speaker. Until someone is elected, the House remains at a standstill without a speaker, and the government will only remain funded until November 17th. And pressure is mounting on lower tier Republican presidential candidates to drop out. The primary is looking very stable, which is bad news for every candidate except for one, former President Donald Trump, who is leading in the polls. And now the pressure is building on the lower tier candidates to either make waves or leave the pool. A memo from Senator Tim Scott's super PAC showed it is backing out of a $40 million ad buy. His PAC said that money will be rerouted to fully fund grassroots and door knocking efforts instead. Scott is polling at 2% in the Real Clear Politics average, but Scott's campaign says things are still full speed ahead. They told the Washington Examiner earlier this week Tim's campaign is built for the long haul. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.